What's going on, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Duck. It's your boy, Ross. We're in the Clutch. Hey, hey. back to ladies and gentlemen, another video today. You feel me? Well, this has been the talk of uh, the town, yeah, as man. I would say, man. The it's village. Been, yeah, the village, the, the Instagram village or the social media village. Uh, mm -hmm. There's always something happening every week in the world, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And some of it is kind of trivial. Most of it is trivial. Mm -hmm. And some of it actually, you know, creates some interesting dialogue and perspective. So, uh, you be the judge on whether y'all feel, feel like this is creating that uh, interesting dialogue or whatnot. But we got to talk about Kiki Palmer and her boyfriend. Uh, you see him? <laughs> I pointed the wrong way. That's Darius uh, Darius Jackson. Uh, apparently, uh, I'm not sure exactly when it happened, but apparently Usher, you know, having his, you know, his concert uh, and everybody's been going to it. Or yeah, and I've heard great Vegas. things about it. And yeah. Kiki Palmer was there mm -hmm. or whatnot. And we got to show the clip for context that has caused all this quote unquote controversy. So let's get into the clip so y'all can see for those who haven't what's, what's caused some issues. All right, let's go. <laughs> Yep, that's pretty much what happened. Oh yeah, okay, okay, I get it. So she turned around and she was, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so pretty much, you know what I'm saying? She getting serenaded or whatnot, and uh, her boyfriend- Y'all seen it already, y'all know what. Her boyfriend chimed in on Twitter, <clears throat> and uh, he was not uh, happy about it. Uh, let's see, pull up the tweets to get the actual what was said. So one of the things he said is, it's the outfit though, you a mom. Eesh. And then he ends up talking about uh when when, when all fails. Go birds, fly eagle fly. So he's a, a Philly Eagles fan, man. So all right, cool. All right. So I'm trying, we, to, be, I'm trying to be funny though. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it, this was the kicker here, because uh, apparently I hadn't seen a lot of what was going on. Ross kind of brought me up to speed mm -hmm. um, over the weekend, but um, I did see this one. He said, We live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother of his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please other. And he gets told how much of a hater he is. This is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case. Yep. And once he posted that, <laughs> then I I want to say, oh, and then I, was that another tweet? Yeah. No, no, no. That was the same one. Oh, it was? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're right, you're right. So after he posted that, and he was getting uh, a lot of backlash for his comments. Uh, one of the things that, you know, he was getting backlash from was actually putting it on social media instead of addressing her in a private form, which I do, I do yeah. agree with. I, what he said is is not a problem, it's how he said it and the way yeah. he said it. You know, like that's something you have a conversation with your significant other, whether they're married or not, they're in a relationship, they have a child together. Mm -hmm. So they're obviously, you know, choosing to still be <clears throat> within that relationship to, you know, you know, I can't even think of the word to, uh, you know, uh, what's the word? Just grow the family. I don't know if they have mm -hmm. talked about marriage or anything like that. But when you put yeah, it on yeah, social yeah. media, you cause that. You cause that confusion, man. Like you cause it, that it's, confusion. It's, it's, it's a rift that comes. It doesn't even. It's unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Um. So privacy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm big on privacy. It, to me, this is a two part. Mm hmm. Um. I don't necessarily disagree with what he said. Mm -hmm. Just he just went about it to completely yeah. Like if that's your girl, I don't even know if they together or not. Well, you said they unfollowed each other and all that. Like I, mm -hmm. so I doubt it. But like whatever it is, I'm gonna handle that. You know, I'm gonna either hit you up, yeah, communicate with you about it, or you know, we're just gonna have a talk when we get home. Yeah, you know. But um, so how he put that out there on display. I wouldn't necessarily agree with, you know, so, I, you know, that's, that's me on that part. But 
what he said, I would probably tell my wife, you know, I think she would already know that about mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. So I think that's, I don't know, it's kind of hard to express because I think when your partner know you, they'll automatically know something that you probably wouldn't like for mm -hmm. them, you know, for you to wear if you go yeah. out and they're not around you. Yeah. And even if they are around you, it's like, I feel like me and my wife know we gauge what's mm -hmm. appropriate and what's not mm -hmm. just based off of knowing, knowing what's right and wrong for one. Mm -hmm. And then two, we know who our partner is. So I don't even think I would even have to question what my wife wore. Yeah. If anything, she'll be like, this looks too such and such. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. you think? Mm -hmm. She'll always ask me what I think, you know, if she feel like she's toddling like a line. I don't even, mm -hmm. and I don't tell her what to wear, but she'll, you know, she just morally be like, just doing too much. What you think? Mm -hmm. And I'll either be like, yeah, kind of, or no, nah, I think you can rock out with it. Mm -hmm. So that's me. But the, the the biggest thing I was seeing is people talking about how insecure he was. Yeah. And I was just like, well, I don't think morally having, you know, I think how he went about it was childish. I'll just say he was childish. Yeah. We can say that part. And, you know, many other things as far as pushing y'all business on the forefront. Mm -hmm. But insecurity is like we use words too loosely. Yeah. Like we got to be a little bit more on point with yeah. words like that. Yeah. Nah, yeah. That, I don't I don't think that's a, a, a situation of being insecure. That's just his partner. Well, no, you know, him not liking what his partner had had on in yeah. a public setting. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. that's his opinion. Just <clears> like. Uh, a, a woman has an opinion to, you know, what her partner is wearing, you know, if they out and about, you know, like we know it's social media. We know oh, a lot man. of times it's, it's, it's really about attention. So What's we thirst know, trap you? yeah, women do the thirst traps and guys do the same thing yeah. it, it, it happens on both ends of the spectrum. So, you know, it's fair to say if a woman is at home or whatever, and, and you're at a concert. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, for those who don't know, Janet Jackson, oh, she used to strap yeah, you down. She used to table. strap you down on this revolving, rotating device and give you the lap dance all the way under the, you know, the the concert the stage. stage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So she would ride you. Yeah, all, all this other kinda. stuff. So the question becomes: if you saw your significant other in that situation. What did you say? Would you be okay with it? And granted, that's a very extreme because us didn't really do too much, you know. But in also just in a in another perspective, maybe a, a, a popular reason on it, like maybe SZA, you know what I'm saying? Just yeah. giving you up, rolling you up on stage. You just happen to be backstage rolling you up with the other, would your other partner be okay with that? But, and even just take the sexual tension out of it, just the fit, you know, it's all about showing respect for your significant other. If so, his shirt off and yeah, she you rubbing know, on his chest or something. You know what you're or, doing. Yeah. You know what you're doing. You, you know? Not. So it's it I don't have a problem with anyone voicing their opinion. It's just how you do it. And I think he went about it the wrong way. Yeah. I think if you wanna have that conversation can't, can't do that, bro. Yeah, just have the conversation off social media, talk about it and go from there instead of because once you you kind of come off like you blasting her you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying and, yeah, it, it does. and it doesn't look good for you it doesn't look good for her because now everybody has some you opinion everybody. you brought everybody's opinion into it and you know and now even now i want to say she kind of <clears throat> kind of doubling down on it and i think this uh comes in part with just you know how you know people have kind of you know rally behind her rally behind her and then and now she's kind of capitalizing off of it and uh, to me it, it kind of comes off kind of come off a little cringe so basically i want to say i think somebody had took a snippet of some interview or something or whatever that she said and they you know they remixed into like a like a song so she started dancing to it or whatever um, recently and i was like all right but then she took it a step for, for, uh, further, and granted, I ain't, I ain't knocking you. Get your bag, turn a, you know, potential negative situation into something positive. But once again, this is a situation that involves someone that you're, you know, involved with. Uh, uh, apparently, she has some merch coming out saying, um, "One thing is certain, and one thing is true: I'm a mother, and through and through." And I'm a mother and Stevie to the bull bullshit. Shirts available now. Link in the bio. She got that on her Instagram. Wow. So it's one of those things where it's like now it becomes 
cringe because it's like <laughs> now you, you yeah I get it you're capitalizing off this negative situation but like at the OD same at this point now it's like you're making money off well you know trying to make some you know money off of it on a situation that honestly he he has a point to his opinion but it kind of comes off like well I'm the mother you know what I'm saying I'm gonna do what I do whatever I don't really give a damn it comes off like that and I'm gonna make some money off there of is, it there is a gang of people mm-hmm. that felt like that yeah of course just like it was some people I seen uh, saying well what about when Uzi was taking a picture with Ice Spice yeah and people were agreeing that um, JT throwing the phone at him was in the right for throwing the phone like I would've that, did more than throw the phone but that's not cool that's not cool. come yeah. right back and then in this situation it's okay nah man you know what I'm saying like we just have to be Double we gotta standards. be fair mm-hmm. all across the board. I already, I know double standards exist. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the world that just for some reason is starting to forget that double standards exist. Mm-hmm. And not, not the smart, logical people just mm-hmm. random. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't get it. All of a sudden now we don't know logics and you know morals and you know basic anatomy no more. It was just we're just whatever. Flat line. We'll do it live. Yeah. We're just yeah. So <laughs> you, know, you know, at the end of the <laughs> at the end of the day, uh, we gotta be fair, man. We gotta be. You know, open to both situations and understanding that, hey, man, these are these people. This is how they trying to rock out with it. I don't agree with how mm-hmm. he went about it, but I don't necessarily disagree what the statement was. Yeah. But again, he has to understand that once you put something out there it's, in the world to the world, it's you got the it's the public opinion now. Yeah. And that's and you gave it to them. So it's really he kind of getting what was going to come with the territory. At the end yeah. Of the day. But again, the message. You know, and I seen people. Oh man, he weird. He such and such. He, man. And it's niggas too. Yeah. But just because you let your girl walk outside with a shoestring, don't mean somebody <laughs> else would. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. That's. I'm talking about my second point now. Not, mm-hmm. not him blasting her. Cause mm-hmm. no, don't do that. But on the other hand, if you don't feel comfortable with your partner wearing certain things, that's something that you should communicate with your partner. That way, it wouldn't be an issue. Yeah. Whenever anybody is going outside, but and, y'all need to have that communication. Not and, the world. And it's not about controlling or anything like not that. Because you know that that becomes the narrative. Oh, you man trying to control a woman. No, this is my personal preference. So either you you know you cool with it or you're not. And if you're not, hey, that's fine. It's when we, you know we ain't going we not meant to work part, out part way. We're not meant to work out. You feel me? At the end of the day. So that's why it's like. You know what the Red Sea was? The Red Sea was partying. <laughs> so <laughs> at the end of the day, it's like, hey, man, it's, it's people have the right to feel how they want to feel. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't tell someone, oh, you shouldn't feel that way or you insecure. No. If he chooses, if he feels like, hey, I, I don't think that's appropriate, you know, for, you know, the mother of my child to be out there wearing that type of dress. And in honesty, her cheeks was pretty much out they were just you know behind the the the, the material yeah <laughs> so i mean me personally i probably wouldn't be okay with it i'm just be honest with you i, I probably i'm not gonna be, be scared, man. Tell i'm not gonna be in this all yeah tell them, tell them you wouldn't be okay with it bro don't be scared <laughs> <laughs> i, pro- I mean i probably be mad. wouldn't be say okay with no nah, i ain't messing with that <laughs> say no 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 <laughs> i probably wouldn't be okay it looks nice go. But then you, it's at the same time. Everything looks nice when it's not yours. yours. Yeah, it's true. So I got to always try to put myself, would I be okay with that? I'm like, eh, I would definitely have an issue with it. But handling it differently is the key to that. So, man. Yeah, yes. y'all get the point. Y'all yeah. get the point, man. These are one of the pod combos. I ain't trying to get too heavy. But now, yeah. let us know what you guys think in the yeah, comments. Yeah, what y'all do, below. man. Uh, do how y'all, y'all feel about it? How do y'all feel? Do y'all think it was okay? Who, where do you see him? Do you see him wrong and blasting it? Do you see him she's, not being wrong? She's kind of dragging it. Is she bit. super capitalizing and ODing it yeah. at this point? Is it going on longer than what it should? Yeah. How do you think they should move forward in this situation? Because again, they're parents. Yeah. To a child. So mm-hmm. at the end they, of the day, they connected forever at yeah, this point. And, for life. And you don't want to get too wild and crazy because this child has to grow up in that. Mm-hmm. Never forget that the child is always the one mm-hmm. who suffers. Mm-hmm. So comment down below what you guys think. Again, appreciate you for uh, always coming back to the videos. Make sure you run up the likes. Continue to spread love as usual. Spread it and keep going first. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace out. Already. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me.